What's up guys? So today Apple pushed out the Mac App Store, sort of a place where you can find a broad range of programs for your Mac. So instead of having to go to the store and get the discs for a lot of your Mac applications, you can download and install them right from the Mac App Store itself. Now the Mac App Store is uh, pretty easy to use. If you know how to use iTunes, you know how to use the Mac App Store. They have a broad range of applications like iPhoto and GarageBand and Pages um, and all those that are available from Apple. Um, but they also have a lot from developers that have developed iPhone and iPad apps. So if you uh, have a favorite iPhone or iPad app from a developer, um, they're definitely going to be putting out applications for the Mac. So look forward to that. Um, a lot of different applications for a lot of different genres. Uh, from games, news apps, drawing apps, photo apps, um, all that kind of stuff. Um, again, if you know how to use iTunes, you know how to use the Mac App Store. Um, really, really easy. Home screen here kind of displays sort of the featured apps. Um, also has some new and noteworthy apps over here. Um, on the side here, we've got some of the charts, top paid and top free. And we've also got some of the apps that are really hot right now, really popular. Um, up at the top here, we've got forward and back buttons and kind of the five sort of navigation buttons along with a search. Um, we've got featured, top charts, categories, purchases, and updates. This is the featured page. Go to top charts and see what the most popular apps you can browse by top paid, top free, and top grossing. And also on the side here, you can browse by the different categories or you can go up here and look at all the categories they have. Um, a little limited right now, but as more applications are released I'm sure they will expand their categories so if you're looking for a specific kind of application for a specific uh, category um, definitely good to check this area first We've got purchases anything you've purchased and the purchase date is gonna be on this page and then updates anything that needs to be updated will be on this page so very very easy to use very easy to navigate. There are about a thousand applications right now. Expect that number to go up really, really high as the year goes on. Um, again, a lot of iPhone and iPad app developers have decided to try and port their um, applications to the Mac, um, such as Angry Bird, um, Chopper 2, Flight Control, uh, a lot of just applications that we've known to be iPhone and iPad apps are being pushed out made specifically for the Mac App Store. So there you go, just a quick sort of look at the Mac App Store. If you want it, if you want to download the Mac App Store, all you have to do, you have to go into System Preferences, and then you want to click on Software Update, and uh, you want to click on Scheduled Check, and you want to click Check Now. And uh, should have a Mac OS X update. Um, just go ahead and install that, restart your computer, and once it's re started the uh, Mac App Store will show up in your dock You can open it up sign into your iTunes account and off you go go download whatever applications you want um, so hope you guys like the Mac App Store um, I'll definitely be using it let me know what applications are you looking forward to what applications have you gotten already um, definitely let me know uh, if I want to review any applications I'll definitely be looking for them and I'll see you guys in the next video